This is guided practice for solve word problems using multiplication. It is found on page 145 and 146 in your workbook. So does anyone know what you call a nervous javelin thrower? Yeah, if a javelin thrower was nervous, what would you what would you call that person? Well, if it was a guy or girl, you'd call them Shakespeare. That's just, is that even, mm, mm -mm. it's funny though, it's funny. Come on, you gotta give that to it, it's funny. Moving along. All right, so what I want you to do on this problem, it says write a real world problem that uses multiplication. And a real world problem basically means a word problem, right? A story problem. Uh, I want you to go ahead and do that. Open up your email. So you're going to email it to me. You're going to open up your email. You're going to write a word problem that uses multiplication. Now remember, it's a real world problem. So you're not just going to say multiply this number by this number. No, it's going to be a real world problem, like a word problem. All right, and yes, you're going to have to use your brain and, and going to have to do some imagine, imagining. So uh, go ahead and do that. Now, I don't want you to draw a bar diagram. I do want you to write an equation to solve your problem, but I don't want you to write a bar diagram because you may be using larger numbers. And, and in the problems that we're going to do, they're going to have us use some bar diagrams, but I'm going to teach you another way to do it other than just bar diagrams because that, that can get complicated if you have... Uh, one uh, digit that's large multiplied by another digit that's large. When it's small, you can do it, but if, when it's large, it's, it's a big deal. So go ahead, write those uh, problems in your email, and if, even if you're quarantined online, I want you to do this. Write the problem in your email and then send it to my email. It's at Josh, joshuapangburn at moreschools.com. You can probably find that in your email. All right, so go ahead and do that. We're going to go over five or six of them together, solve them together, uh, and then we will move on to number two on our practice. All right, so go ahead and do that. We'll go over them, and then we'll move on to number two. All right, so in two, write and solve an equation. Sharon Stationery Store has 1,219 boxes of cards. May's Market has three times as many boxes of cards. How many boxes of cars, cards does May's Market have? And we get that box uh, problem right here. And we've got a little bar diagram. So it says Sharon has this many and May's has this many. Now when you have a small number that's being multiplied into that, a bar diagram is no problem. What I like to do is something like this. You know, they got this box of cards and it's got 1,219. And, well, maze has three times as many. So I'm going to, it's got three times as many, right? So I know that maze has three times as many boxes. Now, you know, we can have three boxes here. And that's fine because we've just got three. But, you know, let's say they had 31 times as many. Well, that's going to be a lot of boxes, right? If you do a bar diagram, well, we can just do 31 times as many. So when I say that, yeah, a bar diagram is good, easy to use, sometimes it is. Also, it's good just to do some drawing. I mean, I just did, did do these doodles uh, of this box and put 1,219 in it because that's how many cards are in it. And maze has three times as many. So what do we need to do? we need to multiply 1,219 times 3. All right, and if we had a um, an equation, we do 1,219 times 3 equals C, equals the number of cards. And remember, that C is a variable. It's just a, a letter that represents the, the number that it's, that it's going to be when we multiply 100. 1,219 times 3. So go ahead and do that. Do 1,219 times 3 and then we'll go over it. 
3 times 9 is 27. Carry that 2. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 1 is 3. So 3,657 cards. Alrighty. And you know what? That shouldn't be cards, should it? It should be boxes. Boxes of cards, but boxes. Yeah, I should put B there. Because it has B up here. Alrighty. Moving on to number 3 through 5. So in 3 through 5, draw a bar diagram to model this situation, then write and solve an equation again. We're not going to draw a bar diagram. Okay? You can if you want to. But what I'm going to do is just maybe draw a picture that represents it. All right? Just to make sure we clarify what's going on. All right, so go ahead. Read and solve number three. Read and solve number three, and then we'll go over it. There are 14 theaters at the mall. Each theater has 175 seats. How many seats are there in all? Right, so if we did 175 times 14, we'd have the number of seats, right? And that looks more like a five, doesn't it? But trust me, it's an S. So 175 times 14 is what we need to do. Four times five is 20. Four times seven is 28 plus two is 30. Four times one is four plus three is seven. And drop that zero and I just have to do this, right? Zero, seven. So, why did I put a seven there, you silly goose? It's five. So two, that's a weird five. 2,450 seats. All right. So when you read a word problem, in order to understand what it's asking, the really important thing to do is, is to visualize what's happening here. You know, you get these 14 theaters, those all those 14 theaters, and each of those theaters has 175 seats. I mean, I can, I can imagine going to like the Warren, seeing all those theaters, and imagining in my head, okay, each of these theaters has 175 seats. If there's 14 of them, then I can take 175 times 14, and then I can get how many seats there are. So instead of just looking at numbers and then saying to yourself, well, this is a lesson on multiplying multi-digit numbers, so I'm just going to multiply them. Let's, let's not do that. Let's read, understand what's going on. So read, understand, and then we can solve the problem. Right, let's make sure that we're doing that on these. All right, so go ahead, read and solve number four. Again, you can either do the uh, bar diagram or you can just do a, a picture, but e either way, visualize it, read it, visualize it, then solve it. Go ahead and do that and then we'll go over it. All right, so Brad lives 12, 12 times as far away from the ocean as Jenny. If Jenny lives 48 miles from the ocean, how many miles from the ocean does Brad live? So, you know, I'm thinking I got these two houses. I got Brad in one. Jenny in the other. And Jenny lives 48 miles away from the ocean. Well, Brad lives four, 12 times as far. 12 times as far. So, you know, I could be putting 48 and then 48 and then 48 12 times so I need to do 48 times 12 2 times 8 is 16 2 times 4 is 8 8 plus 1 is 9 and then I can just do 480 so 7 7 why am I putting 7 there I got, I got this thing with 7 today don't I 6, 9 plus 8 is 17, and 5. So 576 miles. 
miles. So five, Brad lives 576 miles away. All right, go ahead, read and solve number five. So read it. Visualize it, then solve it. All right, go ahead and do that, and then we'll go over it. A hardware store ordered 13 packs of nails from a supplier. Each pack contains 155 nails. How many nails did this store order? Well, they got these packs of nails, right? There's 155 nails in this pack. And how many did they order? Well, 13. They ordered 13 of them. Well, I need to take 155 and multiply it by 13. So 3 times 5 is 15, 3 times 5 is 15 plus 1 is 16, 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4, and then 155, 10, 7, 12, and 6. Oh my goodness, look what I did. Gooseberry pie. Tell people all the time not to do that and you just did it. Good thing I caught it. So that's 11, 5, 10, and 2. So 2,015. How many? How many nails? Yeah, 2,015 nails. All right. Let's go ahead and stop there for the day since we did some uh, as a class together with with you all writing some so let's go ahead and stop there for today and then we will start on day two tomorrow this is day two of solve world word problems using multiplication it is still found on pages 145 and 146 in your workbook so the internet connection at my farm, it's really sketchy. So I moved my modem to my horse barn. Yeah, moved my modem from my house to my horse barn. And now I have a really stable connection. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Maybe, maybe you got that. Hopefully you did. Horse barn, horse barn, stable, stable can... Mm, if you have to explain, is it funny? Yes, it's still funny. Maybe even funnier. Moving along. Number six says Sandy's school has 1,030 students. Kara's school has three times as many students as Sandy's school. Write an equation to find S, the number of students in Carla's school. Did I say Carla? Anyway, then solve your equation. So, Sandy School has 1,030, right? Carlos School has three times as many. So, we're going to take 1,030 and multiply it by three. That's going to be pretty easy because there's not going to be any carrying. Go ahead and do that real quick and we'll go over it. All right, three times zero is zero. Three times three is nine. Three times zero is zero. And three times three is three. So, 3,090 what? students right oh and it wanted us to have an equation so we can do 1030 times 3 equals s right all right go ahead solve this one solve number seven read and solve it and then we'll go over it jupiter is about five times the distance Earth is from the Sun. Earth is about 93 million miles from the Sun. About how far is Jupiter from the Sun? So you got the Sun, you got Earth, and you got Jupiter, right? And Earth is 93 million miles. And Jupiter is five times as many. Whew. Well, I'm going to take 93, multiply it by five. Some of y'all are going, wait a second, it's 93 million. You know what? 
I'm just going to add the zeros to the end. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 9 is 45 and 46. So 465 million miles. That's a lot of miles, isn't it? That's a boatload of miles. All right. Oh, it says look for a relationship to help you solve this pattern. Nah, see, that's why I did the 93 times 5. Right? That's why I did that. All right. Higher order thinking. William travels only on Saturdays and Sundays and has flown 1,200 miles, 1,200, 1,020 miles this month. Jason travels every weekday and has flown 1,200 miles this month. If each man travels about the same numbers of miles each day, who travels more miles per day this month? Well, look at it. William, he travels only two days, right? And it's 1,000. Right? Jason travels how many days? Five days. And travels 1,200. Well, who would travel more then? William. William would travel more because that's... He would only have to divide 1,020 by 2. You would have to divide 1,200 by 5. Right, and we can just see just from that that William's going to be traveling more each day. We get that, right? He travels this many miles. William travels that many miles in two days. Jason travels this many miles in five days. So we only have to divide that by two, and that's going to be a lot more than Jason does with uh, with five. And we can. We can do that, you know, that's, that's going to be 510 if we do that by half. And what well, William's going to be 500, not 500, but 240 a day. So, yeah, see, William travels a lot farther, or farther each day. Alrighty. I want to see if you can impress me by solving number nine. Read it. Visualize what's going on. Visualize what's going on here because if, if you can see it in your head what he's doing, then it'll be easier for you. All right, go ahead and do that. Read, visualize, and solve, and then we'll go over it. All right, Huang can fit 12 packets of coffee into a small box and 50 packets of coffee in a large box. He has 10 small boxes, so he's got these boxes where he can put 12 packets in right and he's got 10 of them and would like to reorganize the packets into large boxes how many large boxes could he fill well if we do 12 times 10 that's going to be 120 right well each of the other boxes the big boxes hold 50 well, I can put two 50s into this, right? Because it'd be 100. So two boxes with 20 left over, right? That means that he can fill two boxes. It asks how many he could fill, right? Two boxes. Hope you impressed me by getting that. All right. So on the assessments, it just wants to know the expression. So basically, it just wants to know this is equal to which one of these all right go ahead and do that and then we'll go over it see if, see if you can do that and then we'll go over it all right so this first one it just switches them right yep so it can be that first one but on this one no it's not that one because 20 times 5 would be 100 right okay and then we can do we get 25 times, well, we get 4,000 plus 60, 4,060. Boom, there we go. Now 25 times 460 to the 10th, 10, 10, 10, oh, that would be 40,600. It's not that one. All right, 
and then 20 plus 5 times 4060 well 25 is 20 plus 5 so those three all right and then all basically the, the same thing we're doing here so 85 times 10 to the third that'd be three zeros on the end that has two won't be that one all right so 30 plus 8 that means 38 850 times 10 that would make it 8500 Oh, 30 times 8, no, that would be, it needs to be 30 plus 8. 8,050 times 38, yeah, they just switched places. And then 30 plus 8, 30 plus 8 is 38 times 8,500. Well, all right, end of our lesson. Y'all have a good one.